Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. I am in my PJs and yeah. <laughs> no, no jewelry, no doing up, no nothing. I actually wanted to do an unbagging video for you guys because um, I went to you know downtown Disney on Monday and we got stuff. <laughs> Um, this is actually per request that a um, subscriber had asked for. Um, she had asked, if, well, she had said she wanted to see all the pins that I had gotten, and I said that I was going to post an unbagging video um, today. So I want to get that out for her and ready for her, and not only for her, but for you guys as well. And I'm also wearing Hubby's um, Mickey Mouse shirt, so that way it's a little more themed. Okay, so we will actually start with what Hubby just threw onto the bed. So we actually got some Lego sets. So this one, they're both architecture ones. Um, I got this one for San Francisco. And then he got this one for New York City. We're actually going to build them later today after dinner settles down. Now we're going to go to the actual bag. So first thing is I got a child plushie. <laughs> Literally, we were walking through the World of Disney store after waiting in line. And I saw this little guy and I was just like, he's mine. He's coming home with me. It's mine. <laughs> okay, so we went to a little, not a mom and pop shop, but it had like the vibe of a mom and pop shop, if that makes any sense. Um, oh yeah, just a heads up, uh, Hubby is gonna end up playing a video game in the background, so if you hear anything, that's what you're hearing. Um, we I got a calligraphy pen. It's not like a quill and ink, even though I do have one of those but it's the pen itself and then there's like a little holder for it and I thought that was super cute but the only reason I even have this is because hubby got me this it's a journal it's like okay so oh it's upside down <laughs> there's actually a quote on the front it says begin doing what you want to do now we are not living in eternity we have only this moment sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake Francis Bacon it's funny because I found a smaller one that had a Peter Pan quote on it, but I wanted a bigger one. And there was like an even bigger one, but he's going to get that one for sketching. I just wanted this one for writing. But the paper is so unique. It's not like regular paper. It feels almost like fabric. It's really, really cool. And the pen works so smoothly on there. I really don't want to write on here with anything but that pen. So when I run out of ink, I'm going back and getting myself a new pen. Next, I got these cute Haunted Mansion ears. So this is new to the ears collection. But yes, we got new ears. I need to find out where to put them because the shelf that is currently holding my ears is super duper 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 stuffed. <laughs> Next is this Foolish Mortal shirt that I got. Um, I originally got one in Florida when we went last year and it sadly does not fit me anymore because it's a small and because of my chest I am no longer a small and because of my stomach I'm no longer a small and my arms I'm no longer a small but hopefully with Weight Watchers I become a small so I got a Foolish Mortals Haunted Mansion shirt which is super cute <laughs> this technically I didn't get from Disney I got it from Amazon but I needed new Nightmare Before Christmas dresses so anyway <laughs> oh yeah and I also got some like T facial toner for acne because I was running out. No. I needed specifically liquid toner though. Okay. So last but not least, before we get to the abundance of pins, I actually got a World of Evil mystery pin bag. I did already open it, but I will show you who I got in here. Um, I will be making a separate video adding to the pin collection, but you guys won't be seeing it until like maybe September, so sorry. Um, so this one is Stromboli. Next is Frodo, or Frollo, or Fro Frodo, Frollo, Judge Claude, Judge Claude, whatever the hell your name is. Queen of Hearts, who I mistakenly call Evil Queen a lot. She's pretty evil. Maleficent. And last but not least, Lady Tremaine. I was hoping to get Hades, but that sadly did not happen. Because there's a bunch you can get. You can get, let's see, Mother Gothel, Maleficent, Chernabog, King Candy, uh, Evil Queen, Shere Khan, Scar, Jafar, Hades, Cruella, Lady Tremaine, Gaston, Madame Mim, Queen of Hearts, Frodo, Frodo, and um, Stromboli. I mean, there was like a soiree of possibilities, so I'm not surprised I didn't get what I wanted. All right, guys, now we're going to be moving to the pins that I have received. Yes. 
This thing has a, well not receive, but bought. This thing has a lot of weight to it, so let me show you what I got. Now granted these are all mine. Hubby bought his own, but they're in another bag. So first one I want to present is my Aurora pin. Isn't she pretty? I thought this was gorgeous. I needed some Aurora pins because I mean, she's my princess. Next is a Pinocchio pin. If you look closely, you can actually see that his limbs move on their own. It's pretty cool. Next, we have a Coco pin. I've always wanted to get a Coco pin. Next, we have an Anger pin from Inside Out that says Anger Management. And if that doesn't say anything about me, I don't know what will. <laughs> Next is a Graveyard Jamboree. Let me read entirely what it says before showing you. Graveyard Jamboree, come out and socialize. Join us in the Graveyard Mortals Welcome. A swinging wake featuring the ghostly qu quintets Phantom Five performing their graveyard hits with special ghost performance by the Merry Minst Minstrels. Ta-da! <laughs> Next pin is the Join the Resistance pin. Yes, I had to get one because I don't have... I mean, I have one Star Wars pin, but it was technically, according to Harley Baby, supposed to be hubbies. And Alright guys, this one had actually already fallen off, but I managed to put it back on. It's a group pin! But like I said about the Star Wars pins, I technically already have one, but it's not mine, it's hubbies. But, um, we forgot about that, so it's now on my best. <laughs> I got a Pirates of the Caribbean one, which I really like this one. I've been eyeballing this a lot whenever I go to Disneyland, but trust me, this isn't the end of my pin collection. I'm just saying. I got another Aurora one. I'm going to be like stocking up on Aurora pins. I think I'm also going to get Ariel and Tiana pins since that's Hubby and Harley Baby's princess. And then I got this really pretty Disney pin, and then if you open it, it shows Walt Disney and there's actually a quote up here that says it's kind of fun to do the impossible with his signature I've always wanted one of these pins they're absolutely beautiful to have and then I got an official pin trading pin yes we had to get one even though technically I'm not trading any of my pins unless I get like duplicates for example if I get one for like um, a birthday or like a holidays that I already have or if I get a mystery pack and I already have those pins and I just trade out the mystery pack pins whatever because Harley baby loves getting the mystery packs and I love joining her and getting the mystery packs and I myself like getting some too but sometimes I feel like they're a waste of money because like you don't know what you're getting and then you end up getting repeats so I don't know anyway the next one is a uh, Disneyland ticket pin so back when Disneyland first opened, I'm, I'm sure you guys know this, or if you don't, Disneyland used to have tickets. So it would be A through E tickets, and I think E tickets were like the most exclusive rides, so you had to buy them at the ride itself. But look, all the tickets are in there. And let's see what this whole thing says. We hope that your visit with us today will be a happy and memorable experience. This ticket book is your passport to many wonderful adventures in the happiest place on earth. May your day at Disneyland be a pleasant one. Return and visit us again soon. Walt Disney Productions. That is super cool. I love this pin. Next, I got myself a pride pin. It's got a bunch of diamonds in it, or sequences, whatever they are. They're sparklies, and they're beautiful, and it's pride, and I'm happy. All right, guys, we got two more pins. So, of course, anyone who knows me knows I had to get a jack pin. I was tossing up between a lot of them, but Lord knows I'm going to be getting all of them. So this is my Jack pin. And it's funny because it says Jack is back. And I mean, Skelly went back to Disney. So Skelly's back. <laughs> and last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, is my official conscience pin. I am an official conscience certified by Mr. Jiminy Cricket himself. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my first ever unbagging video. Oh, my God, that was actually a lot of fun. Hubby and I are going to City Walk on Monday. So um, on Tuesday, I'll be filming another unbagging video for you guys um, about all the stuff that we bought at City Walk, which I'm saving my money for because Lord knows I'm probably going to be buying a bunch of stuff there too, like probably more journals and more pens. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I'm going to be filming the pin video um, most likely on Friday. 
um, but you won't see it till like sometime in September with how all my videos are scheduled. So be on the lookout. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.